Hi everybody, this is Rainbow, and here are some wheat noodles. Today I'm going to be making some pancit canton, either vegetarian style or vegan style. Um, if you're allergic to wheat, then instead of these noodles, you can use rice noodles or bean thread noodles, which are the clear glass ones. Um, this particular noodles has no egg in it. So if you want it vegan, go ahead and read it and make sure it's just wheat. What are the ingredients? All right, so I'm here starting to saute the garlic and onion. Here's the base flavor, the shiitake mushroom. I just soaked it because it was dried up. Uh, you can soak it in water and or this um, vegetable broth. And here's, I just added some mushrooms. Um, it's really up to what flavor you want to use. Some people like this hoisin sauce here for it, to me, it has more of a sweet and sour taste. Uh, this soy sauce is more uh, strong and salty. This uh, oyster sauce, or you can also use um, mushroom sauce to substitute. It looks like the same bottle, too. See this bottle here? Oyster sauce, It the shape of the mushroom sauce bottle looks the same as well, and it tastes tastes good. Tastes, um, it's a substitution. It's comparable. It tastes the same as well. So, what else? Oh, here we go. My favorite brand of vegetable bouillon, Rapunzel, non-GMO, vegan, organic. This is what it actually looks like. It looks really soft and powdery. And um, I guess you can see some of the ingredients here. It's worth every penny. Sea salt, palm fat, yeast extract, parsley, lovage, basil, garlic, turmeric, celery dill. Okay. Oh, and here are the vegetables. It's really flexible. Um, I use Napa cabbage, put a little kale, some uh, shredded carrots and purple cabbage because the color is good. Um, and this mushroom has the meaty texture and flavor. So, let's go I ahead and get started. I know I'm making pancit canton. I'm not actually using the canton noodles. I'm using um, Japanese style noodle chuka soba. See, you can see what the ingredients are right here. Wheat, flour, water, salt, turmeric. Okay, let's look. Set this on top. We're going to let it uh, absorb and soften. And here's the vegetables. Barely cooked. Well, the harder ones are a little more cooked, but the softer leaves are barely cooked. I'm going to add them on top. Okay, so here are other examples of the Asian noodles. Here's rice stick ingredients, rice and water. Okay, those are the skinny rice stick. Here's uh, for pad thai, rice stick noodles. See, these are the thicker, wider ones. Let's turn it to the side so you can see it better. All right. And the other alternative instead of the wheat would be bean thread. I don't have that with me, but I'm going to just tell you that it's usually made out of mung bean, green bean, potato starch, pea starch. Let's look at this boiling now. Simmering. I just added the second layer of uh, dried noodle. The bottom layer is already soft. So when I was growing up, my dad used to mix this um, yellow or wheat noodle, the canton, pancit canton noodle, with the clear glass bean thread. He liked to mix it. I like mine separate, either or, but right now I'm just making it with one type of noodle. I want you to see the texture. Look how soft it has become. You could actually use this for um, other kinds of Asian stir fry and ramen soup noodles. And uh, wow, it has absorbed. Look at this, there's only a little sauce left, little broth left. It has absorbed most of it. I'm just mixing it around. And um, once it gets totally absorbed and softened, then I'm going to mix the vegetables and noodles in a big bowl. Okay, guys, here's the final product of my version of pancit canton. And I did not use canton noodles because I didn't want the egg, egg in the noodles. And instead of oyster sauce, you can use mushroom sauce, which is in a similar bottle that is comparable and also looks like an oyster sauce bottle and tastes great. Um, generally it would have 
shrimp, chicken, pork. I rarely see beef. Um, and the animal stock. However, the mushroom sauce, which is a substitute for oyster sauce, and the shiitake mushrooms are so powerful and flavorful that you can enjoy it just like that. The vegetables are really flexible. I mean, you can just use whatever vegetables you have laying around. Uh, generally, it would be the sugar snap peas. Um, what is it? Sugar snap peas? Snow peas? You know, it looks like a pod. And um, what else? Uh, cabbage, different kinds of cabbage. Carrots. You can put celery. But you always have the base herbs of the garlic and onion. You can top it off with some green onions and calamansi or some citrus flavor like lemon juice. Other people like to put fish sauce on top. So if you want, just use salt, soy sauce, whatever. Um, let me know if you guys try this recipe out and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching. As you can see in a separate pot, I started to um, cook or saute a little bit of um, the harder, denser vegetables in the vegetable broth and put the harder ones first and I'll slowly add the the lighter, less dense vegetables that way they still retain its uh, color and freshness and crispness. I don't want to cook it with uh, cook it in here with um, with the sauces, soups, flavors and mushrooms, onions and garlic. We're gonna let this simmer for a while before we add this um, these noodles to soak here in this liquidy broth.